Now, lots of parents are still trying to find things to do with their kids for the uh, long summer months, and we're stuck at home with the pandemic. Uh, so getting the water or getting out into a pool is great, but you don't have to have a pool to have fun in the water. Jenny Evans from the Parenting Center is joining us with some things you can do. And I, I know we got one of those little pools from, uh, you know, like, like outside. It's, it's great for sitting outside when it's hot, things like that. Uh, kids love it. But you're talking about things you can do inside the house. Exactly. A little pool is great. It's a it's probably your your best daily activity now that it's gotten so hot. We keep saying that it was one thing to be home with kids all this time when you could actually get outside. Now that it feels like 101 degrees. Thank you, Dave Nussbaum. <laughs> it's not as easy. So, yeah, you can do water play all over. The water play is so versatile. So it can be a really active activity. It can be a soothing and calming activity. Um, it's really easy to get highly sustainable, easy to clean. So yeah, we're gonna talk about all different ways you can do water play inside and out. And part of the thing you're talking about is doing stuff in the bathtub in the house. Right, so if the first thing your mind goes to is a pool when it comes to water play, then try the bathtub inside. And instead of shampoo and soap, um, put them in their bathing suits and throw in a couple of toys, some cars, some little play people. You can get some washable uh, paints that are made for the tub that come right off after they decorate your whole bathroom. Um, but also shrink down to this size of a tub and there's a host of activities that you can do. So my favorite is baby doll washing. Get some nice soapy water and a washcloth and let your baby wash the baby. You can get into some parallel play with some dishes and have your kids throw the dishes in and wash the dishes, right? Yeah. Or how about some STEM activity? We love those brain building activities. Um, you can play sink and float. I bet this ball will float, even though you can't see it. I bet this car will sink. Um, or you can get into some measuring and pouring with just some measuring cups. So these are activities that allow your child to appreciate the sensory calming nature of uh, the water, but also get really engaged in kind of the tasks that go along with this play. Now, Jenny, I see you've got a spray bottle there. Is that for the kids to spray you or you to spray the kids? Because I can see that being trouble with a three or four year old. <laughs> Well, you know, I've seen people use them to train cats, but no, this is a great outdoor activity. So when you get tired of the baby pool, when you're somewhere where you can't bring the little pool, um, there are some really great ways to burn energy outside. One of them is spray bottles. You can spray each other, but you can also spray the house, spray fences, um, and things change color when they get water on them. Paint brushes work the same way. The kids come to the parenting center in the summer when there's not a pandemic, We'll get a bucket full of water and they'll paint the fence and the sides of the building using the paint brushes until the whole thing has changed colors. If you have a little baby, you might want to try one of these water mats. You'll see when they do their tummy time on a water mat, how active it makes them. It's fun to, uh, to get curious about how the water moves and the things in the mat moves. These have to be monitored just like a baby pool. You can't leave a baby alone on one of these. And then finally, you know, it's an old favorite, bubble blowing. Bubble blowing is great for kind of a calming, soothing, blowing one bubble at a time activity. But you can get some big blowers. My favorite is strawberry baskets and make a real bubbly mess. Um, and that'll burn some energy. Yeah, we do that um, here so to entertain some Sheba. Ideas. Um, uh, you also do some interactive things you can do online with the Parenting Center too, right? We have so much coming up. So our class schedule has moved on to Zoom. We have active parenting starting next week for parents of school agers and teens. It's gonna start on Thursday night, July 9th. Um, our toddler class is also starting and we have ongoing classes for parents who are expecting or for parents of new babies. So yes, our classes are scheduled and, and starting up on Zoom. We, um, we also have been working with our partners to do some presentations in the community. So. Um, tomorrow night, some representatives from one app are um, doing a Zoom presentation with us to answer questions about the pre-K one app process. Next week, we're working with our partners at the library to do a two session talk on talking about race. Viola Washington is gonna talk about sort of background and history and definitions having to do with race and racism. And then uh, the next morning, she and I are gonna talk about talking to kids about race. All right, Jenny. Um, that's coming up next week. So Thanks. yeah, people can give us a call or, um, 
or an email and we can send out the the links or and all the information that they need but yeah things are really now that we figured out the zoom thing there you go things are really um back back moving here all right jenny thank you very much we appreciate that and if you want to reach out to the parenting center you can call them at the number on your screen or you can find them on social media